Sanders and Sharks, there's a lot cooking in Vegas right now, but unfortunately not the buffets. Is that a permanent thing? Let's talk about that just a little bit. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. All right, Spinners and Sharks. So here's a basic overview of the situation. As you all know, March 17th, Las Vegas shut down all of its hotels and casinos. Not just the buffets, not just the shows, not just the clubs, the entire place got shut down. And it didn't reopen until June 4th. That being said, when they did reopen on June 4th, there were phases to the reopening according to Governor Steve Sisolak. One of the phases did include buffets, but they weren't expected to reopen until the end of the year. It's been about nine months since we last addressed this, and when we addressed this, we figured that the phase probably wouldn't be closed for long. But nowadays, it's looking a little grim. Let's talk about Tom Reeg and what he had to say on the Caesars call. Unfortunately, Caesars has lost a lot of money this last year, something to the tune of $1.8 billion. And while they've had an operational loss for the last five quarters running, Mr. Reeg was feeling pretty confident about a big comeback this next year or so. On the same call, another investor, I believe it was a reporter, I'm going to have to double check the article that I have linked in the description box below for additional information, but was called out on the call and asked about the buffets, and in response he said this, quote, Recalling that Las Vegas and Atlantic City used to be the only places with casinos, and people figured out how to eat dinner. Meaning that Tom doesn't really think that buffets are necessary. So it's looking like, at least at Caesars properties right now, buffets probably aren't coming through. On top of that, station executives already decided that they weren't really planning on bringing back their buffets at their casinos. Definitely not anytime soon, and some say possibly indefinitely. We already saw what happened when Wynn tried it out. They did have a similar sort of setup to what Cosmo did, and unfortunately they decided to replace their buffet with a food court. Well, some properties, and when I say some properties, I mean one property specifically, South Point is still going as hard as they can with the buffet experience as safely as they possibly can. So that got me thinking, what are the pros and cons of having a buffet in Vegas? Well, I think one of the biggest pros is this, they're huge traffic drivers. Even Palace has said that while it was a loss leader, the biggest thing that buffets did was drive traffic, because it's part of the Vegas experience, it's a good way to get a lot of food for cheap, and you know, here in the States, we like to go big or go home, and there's no better way to go big than a buffet. Also, the value proposition isn't too bad. You can get a lot of different food types for a lot of different people for not a lot of money. Here's an example. As you guys know, Wonder Woman is a vegetarian. And as you know, if I can catch it, I'll eat it. So I'll eat vegetarian, I'll eat vegan, or I will eat purely carnivorous, or if I get the option, seafood is a big thing, I'm a bit of a shrimp monster. So, that being said, that gives us the option of coming up with various vegan or vegetarian friendly dishes that she can enjoy, and I can enjoy them as well with a healthy side of prime rib and slash or shrimp, because I love that surf and turf. And most importantly, it's part of the Vegas tradition. People expect gambling, they expect cheap drinks, they expect funny shows or really sexy shows or what have you, and most importantly, they expect a lot of good food for a really low price. And buffets typically cover that niche. Now let's get into the dark side of buffets because there's some things that aren't necessarily great about them. One, the quality can be dubious. It definitely varies from buffet to buffet. So your quality that you're getting at somewhere like Excalibur is radically different from somewhere like Aria or Caesars. Another point to consider is the expense of a buffet. That's a lot of food at a pretty low price. They're trying to get out to a lot of people. And unfortunately, they are lost leaders, as Station outlined. In addition, on the Caesars call, Tony Reek did mention that he wasn't exactly excited about losing $3 million per property every year just operating a buffet. And we're talking about years where they actually physically could operate the buffet. This is pre-pandemic, so they weren't exactly making money there too, even though some of the buffets were a little more expensive than others. 
And finally, the most important thing, cleanliness. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a huge selling point going forward to most people, especially after the last year and a half that we've endured under the current conditions. So now that we know that at least Caesars Properties and Station Casinos won't be reopening their buffets anytime soon, the big question is, what do you do with all that space? Well, for one, it doesn't necessarily mean that food service has to stop there, and two, it doesn't necessarily mean that the buffet has to stop being there, but they might change it up a little bit. Here are a couple thoughts that I outlined over here. So the first thought that I had is pretty well in line with when you could always go with a food court option. That way the service is still pretty speedy, and then you have a wide open space anyway. Still support social distancing if that's something that's required in the near future or even the far off distant future, and it still replicates the amount of cuisine options that diners used to have when they were in the buffets. Option two, and this is one that I kind of like, and I just tried the Mayfair Supper Club. I'll put up a video of that pretty soon here, but here's a little sneak peek of that. I like the idea of a higher end lounge or supper club in all of the, at least the higher end or moderate level casino hotels, and maybe kind of a smooth lounge experience for the smaller hotels, the smaller buffets, or the more budget ones. That way you have the option of small plates like tapas or appetizers, things like that. You can still have a full dinner service, but then you also get the additional speed and the casual atmosphere of being in a lounge. Additionally, that opens up some more drink service, so that would be great for the tourists that want to have a drink and spend a food and beverage credit, and it would be a wonderful thing, I'm sure, for the casino executives that want to see that margin increase. Or finally, and here's just a thought, I haven't heard it very often yet, so I'm hoping this is an original idea, but I'm pretty sure someone else on the internet's thought of this. Why not just go with the Texas del Brazil option? One of my favorite restaurants is Texas del Brazil, and Fogo de Chao is also right up there too, but I like the Brazil. Brazilian steakhouse option. And for those of you that haven't been, let me explain. So what you do, you show up to Fogo de Chao or Texas de Brazil. They give you a pass to the salad bar, you go get your salad, you go get your things, you order your drinks at the table. And then once you're settled in and you've enjoyed things, dinner starts. That's when they bring out their various prime cuts of meat seasoned and cooked various different styles and just all sorts of different types of proteins chicken pork beef whatever you can come up with even some seafood on occasion and one of my personal favorites grilled pineapple so you'll have those options and then the sharply dressed uh, ladies and gentlemen the servers come back to your table they cut you off a slice if you like it you bring them back for more if you don't shove it off the plates move on to the next one that comes through so while that style isn't exactly what a vegas buffet would be it seems like it might make a nice alternative and a good natural evolution moving forward but that's it spinners and sharks so tell me what you guys think do you like any of my ideas do you think buffets do need to come back or do you think we should try something new entirely Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section down below.